Guys, we're gonna talk about why you are not building muscle and here's the reason why you are not building muscle. Number one, you need a stimulus. You need to put your muscles in a environment that will create adaptation. Meaning, you need to put it, you need to put it through moving so it forces your body to make more muscle because it's gotta to continue to do this moving again. And this moving has to be hard enough that it makes more muscle grow. So that means it has to be heavy enough, intense enough. It's like an RPE of like eight. You like struggle with the bar for at least like three reps. You're doing like, I don't know how many reps, but at the end of your set, it looks like like that. It has to look like that at the end of like three to 10 hard sets should look like that. That's what it should look like. Do that, you know, for each muscle group, do that two to four times a week, each muscle group, right? Each muscle group gets two to four times of training sessions a week. And then the muscle will train in that day, three to 10 hard sets of what I just, you know, gave an example. That's what it should look like. Then your muscles will be like, we need more. Your body's like, I need more muscle. And then it creates more muscle. It goes through that adaptation process, you know, protein synthesis, whatever, right? Muscle get broken down, micro tears, and so forth. Then after that, if you got that down pat, perfect. But what's next is protein. Have to have protein. And I've done a video on this on protein before. Basically, again, your body is way too smart for all of us. It does all the things that we don't have to worry about. Breathing, thinking, you know, blinking. Chew it. it, it just does automatic things. But you're that a lot of that needs protein. So a lot of the things your body needs to use protein is gonna use protein for first. Stomach lining, organs, muscle, like just your, your heart, you know, uh, your skin, hair, nails, everything. All those things your body needs protein for first and foremost, hormones as well, and then you get to have some bigger biceps after. So if you're not giving yourself a night, a, um, the right amount of protein, which looks like one pound per body weight or 2.2 grams per kilogram of body weight for those who are in Europe or Canada compared to the Amer American, that was your conversion. Either way, that's what needs to happen, right? At least do that, at least eat that much because that will at least cover what our body needs and then what our body can use, right? That's the only, that's why I'm saying one point, I'm saying one gram per body weight, and 2.2 grams per kilogram of body weight. Now, I need a drink. Okay, cool. Now, we got it down pat, we're working out hard. And you know, what about form? Don't worry about form. Form is, form, yes, form is, helps. But as long as it gets under, you know, obviously if you, your form is not good, yeah, you get injured, but you still grow muscle. You just, the rate of being able to get injured is gonna skyrocket, so pick and choose. Anyway, so we're getting, we're getting down to the next. I'm training hard, I'm eating enough protein, perfect. What's next? Calories, you need to eat enough calories. Now, does that mean you have to be in a massive surplus or bulking? No, it just means, again, you're giving your body the, the basics first. You're covering its BMR. You know, you're covering its maintenance needs first. You know what I mean? At least that's what you're doing, right? That's what we wanna do. If it looks if it, in the grand scheme of things. That could be just maintenance. That could be a little bit, you know, more than, I don't know, like what your BMR would be. Put it this way, it's close to 10 times your body weight right now. Close to it. Either way, we need to have enough calories. So that means you can eat all the protein you need you can have one to one, I can do one to one grams of protein per body weight and eat only that as my entire amount of calories, which would be 200, I'd be, I'd be 2,200 calories. 2,200 calories is what I'd be eating today. I will not be able to build muscle. Just simple, it's easy as that, right? Look how big I am. You think my body can sustain 2,200 calories and that's it and build muscle? Not a chance. So. We're at least covering the basic needs at first, or if you want to bulk, then do like 250 calories above maintenance and you're fine, right? And that could look something like 
15 times your body weight. Could be, roughly, it's a guesstimate, give it a try, I'll do a full video on that after. Anyway, so we got that figured out. We got, we're training hard, we got the protein, eat enough calories, Johnny, what's next? Rest, like recovery, all that stuff. Yeah, recovery re in includes all of the above. Sleeping, what's sleeping look like? It looks like you're well rested the next day. And I'm not talking about like, you need to drink cups and cups. If you're drinking 14 cups of coffee to stay up all day, you got a problem, you need to figure that shit out, right? And you're probably not sleeping enough. So what does recovered and sleep look like? It looks like you can stay up the next day well rested. Your cognitive not, you're not slow. You're not nodding off all day. You're not like, you don't want to take a nap. You know, it's normal to be like kind of tired throughout the day. Like, you know, a little bit of, you know, fatigue a little bit. But if you're constantly like, you know, you get to work at seven in the morning and you're at, at eight o'clock and, and you're at 10 o'clock, you, you're at 12 o'clock, you're just, I need taken and you're and for every one of those times you're doing every your cups of coffee you're not rested either way if you can get eight hours of sleep great if you can achieve that awesome but if you get close if close to that achieves you feeling well rested good right and then water the whole like eight ounces you're fine right drink at least a liter for canadians or i don't know a quarter of a gallon that's fine. And then stretching. And that's part of recovery. Proper days off. That's part of recovery. If you're sleeping really good, you're drinking water, it's fine. But you're not taking any days off. That's not recovering. That is being stupid. That's delaying progress. The more you can recover, the better. The more gains you're going to have. The longer your body has to be able to recover from what you did to it while it gets to feed it, all the nutrients you fed to it, the protein, the calories, that's you know rich in macronutrients and and all that good stuff and you're sleeping well and but you're not taking a day off no take a day off that's recovery as well too what else is recovery going to massage therapy like once every six weeks push to six weeks get some deep tissue break down that muscle the fascia gets tight everything gets tight and shortened figure that out figure a way that you can do once every six weeks of some kind of fast release or whatever, you can do it. I guarantee you're probably spending money on something else that you can easily do this for, 100%. And then like, stretch on your own. Find time to stretch on your own. Do yoga if you have to, I do yoga. Find some days that you can, you know, really designate to stretching. And like on a day to day, really, you only need 10 minutes to stretch. You know, go through like, you know, some go-to, you know, stretches, add those in there. And that's how you build muscle. Because if you're not doing any of those things, I'm not talking about like any of those things, like one or the other. I'm saying if you're not doing all of those things on a regular basis, you're not building muscle. If you're not training hard enough, eating enough protein, eating enough calories, resting, water, sleep, stretching, mobility, you're not building muscle. That is why you are not building muscle. But if you do those things, I promise you, you will build muscle here's the next tip though you gotta do it all the time meaning do all those things consistently day in day out and then you're building muscle hope you enjoyed the video guys if you did you should let me know in the comment section below and more videos like that let me know in the comment section below and if you need more help with your nutrition or your training get the final diet right now it's a link in the description below and so is the ultimate push pull legs training ebook as well so next time guys you know how it is iron sharp as iron progressive overload your life in the meantime keep gym chasing Peace.